Hey, welcome to Veganist Foodies' first podcast, right? Let me move this mic away a little bit. Um, I'm Lamont. I'm India. And uh, I guess for the first show, we just want to kind of explain how to transition and how it's not uh, as difficult as most people think. Um, India. When you first started, what was the meat that you started to transition away from first? Oh, I'm so glad you asked because my whole meat transformation has been a journey. So I first started with pork about three years ago. Because I wasn't a big pork consumer. I really like um, liked pork chops and bacon and ham at like around Thanksgiving. So I was like, I could let go of pork because I didn't consume it much. Um, so I let go of pork and I started telling people, hey, I don't eat pork anymore. <laughs> but I was still eating bacon on the low because <laughs> I could not let it go. Like, how am I going to let go of bacon? It makes everything taste so great. And um, so I still ate bacon for a whole entire year, but I did transfer halfway through and I went to turkey bacon instead of actual bacon. And then I just let bacon go completely. So my first meat that I let go was bacon and it was like a whole uh, year to get off of pork, just pork. That's so real, man. I think that um, most people transfer from pork as well i don't know if it's a community thing or not i know a lot of people from the community that i'm from um yeah pork is the main thing so i agree with you my first transition as well was pork and i went to turkey um for a lot of different reasons um which kind of brought me to my next transition which was uh a red meat so uh, at the same time when I switched from pork, and I was a heavy pork eater as well, um, I went right into uh, turkey burgers as a substitute for hamburgers um, and chicken burgers or chicken patties instead of eating hamburgers. Uh, I think that was based off of me just doing my research on uh, McDonald's back in the day and that uh, Super Size Me and that kind of stuff came out. And it just showed all the calories and stuff that you got from McDonald's. I actually watched a McDonald's in 1995 or 1996 be put right in the middle of a predominantly black neighborhood where I went to school at, Rebecca Johnson, if anybody's familiar. Um, And yeah, everybody went there and everybody around there started eating that. And then I think I seen a video about uh, how the burgers don't change like they don't what is it mm-hmm. called India? they don't mold mm. so they never get bacteria they never it's just mystery meat you do have no clue what it is. yes so once i learned that that was my transition from red meat so i don't know how many people go through that i know we all hear the story about what's in the chinese food so mm-hmm. i mean transitioning from pork and beef was pretty simplistic for me i mean i still would eat it at home with my family members, if they cook some smothered pork chops. I mean, let's be realistic. Pork, they call it the other white meat, but it's really the poor meal's meal. Um, the poor man's meal, excuse me. Because, I mean, you can do so many different things with a couple of pieces of pork. It's unbelievable. Mm-hmm. And you can feed a, a, a family for a couple of days or a week mm-hmm. with a piece of pork or a couple of pieces of pork. So, I mean, that was traditionally what was in my family. Um, again, I transitioned to turkey though, just to move away and chicken, poultry. I thought that was good. Um, I wasn't really wrong. Chicken is amazing. And I'll let the chicken connoisseur herself tell you all about the chicken journey, but it was finger looking good when I was eating in India. How was your transition from chicken now? (laughs) (laughs) Well, just to piggyback on what you were saying, um, I did transition off of beef as well um but that was the year after i did my full transformation from pork so i did pork and then beef and then coming upon 
this current year 2017 um i was preparing myself in 2016 that's why i was getting winging myself off of the beef to prep for a 40-day fast that some fellow friends of ours did in 2016 um and their transformation was just like unbelievable um and i was very intrigued as to like how great they looked how fresh and vibrant their skin looked and obviously their weight loss so um i was uh like how am i gonna do a 40-day fast and i got rid of the pork and beef um and i started experimenting with some different vegetables but i was like i'm never gonna be able to let go of chicken because i love chicken i could be the poster girl for chicken <laughs> i've eaten chicken my whole entire life 30 years straight um breakfast lunch and dinner just eating chicken so i was really nervous about like i don't think i'm gonna be able to do it and then i just kind of buckled down like let me just get through these 40 days because the whole entire 40 day fast was um totally new to me as far as uh some different food options that were uh, very stricted on the um fast as well as like getting rid of sugar you know all the things that you're doing but you you have to prep your mind for the challenge just 40 days only temporary just push through and see if you could do it so um i just did the 40 day fast i did a lot of smoothies i experimented with a lot of different salads a lot of different greens um a lot of different new things that i had no clue about uh like seaweed and things that you think that you can't eat or consume or use for your skin uh just a lot of different experimenting with different things and ironically i didn't miss the chicken um i did learn and do a lot of different research so what help has helped me uh winging off of any kind of meat is um research like the more you read about your meat and how it actually goes through the process and gets to your table or for you to go pick it up in a grocery store, it kind of just uh, grossed me out. I can't speak for everyone else. Oh. But once you start realizing what you're eating and what you're putting into your mouth, you no longer see the titles that we give it, chicken or pork chops or bacon. Like you see a live animal that has went through a torturous uh, process. So once you start seeing that, you kind of gross your own self out and then you start to just realize that you feel better like once i got off of meat my mind clarity just my energy um everything and especially like the weight loss and the inches and just feeling not tired um one thing that i can say about the 40 day fast real fast is um i like the fact that i didn't have to thaw out any food like I could just make whatever I wanted at any given second you really can make quick meals when you look for alternative options oh that's awesome um <laughs> I mean you just said a lot in a little bit of time and I think that we're gonna have to make this a two-part uh transition podcast <laughs> but just to piggyback on what you just said transition is uh, a major thing that you go through so you have to remember, just like a drug, your body will start to go through like shakes and withdrawals. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of uh, preservatives and art artificial additives. And even, sorry to say this, um, uh, what are they called? Parasites. parasites. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what it is. There's parasites in food and meat and stuff like that. We'll go into that in another topic um, on another podcast. But to wrap this one up, I just want you to know that uh, you can do it in increments. So transitioning can be a seven day, a 30 day, a 14 day. You mm -hmm. know, just try to eliminate different things, grains, add more water daily, seven mm -hmm. days of adding water, 14 days of adding water, um, things like that. So again, I'm Lamont. And I'm India. And this is uh, Veganist Foodies, first podcast. All right, stay tuned for uh, part two to transitioning.